he goes through, folks. Coming up next, Sokaju and Yarn the Giant Nortiak. Welcome back as HDNet Fights presents Olympia Dream 9 Featherweight Grand Prix Second Round. Arena, let's check out Sokaju and Yarn the Giant Nortia. And now for the third batch. Alcona Yuri, Yanza Giant of Norukia Seishino Nijo. From Cape Town, South Africa, Jan the Giant Nortia, boxer and kickboxer, K1 star, makes his way to centering. He doesn't walk to centering, Jan, he just plods. Every time I see him walk past, I figure there should be a little man playing a tuba walking behind him. Six foot 11, 350 pounds. This is the heaviest Jan has ever been. Although when he started training in Las Vegas at Extreme Couture Gym with his trainer, Ray Serfo, Four weeks ago, he weighed 180 kilograms. He slimmed down, if you can call it slimming down, to 160 to be here tonight. A pro boxing record of 10 and 0 with nine knockouts. He once held the South African Super Heavyweight Championship. MMA record of two and five, a K1 record of nine and 19 with five KOs. An imposing side always, Guy Mezga, is the giant, Jan Nortiak. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting fight. You know, Sokaju is a judo player, but he does train with some very good wrestlers. Yeah, I think he's, uh, you know, so he a little bit of trouble. You know, Jan just hits really hard. Not yep. the most technical boxer by any stretch of imagination, but doesn't need to be when you weigh as big as he is. Jan Yorte, a very experienced corner here. As I said, K1 superstar Ray Sefo, Babu Maurizio de Silva, former Golden Gloves champion and Muhammad Ali Cup winner and Commonwealth Games boxer Five Fuller Moy. Also helping out the Samoan connection in the corner of Jan the Giant Nortia. His last fight was a K1 match against Peter Ertz in Fukuoka in June 2008, where he lost by third round TKO after beating Ertz in the first round. His last MMA appearance, a smashing 55 second knockout of Bob Sapp at the Tacoma Dome last year. <laughs> is about to take place as Sokaju makes his way to the ring. Born in Hongla, Cameroon, of course now living in California, training out of Team Quest. Judo stylist, as Guy said, who won the 2001 US Judo Championship 
at 25 years old, a record of five and four with four knockouts and one decision win. Comes in tonight on a two-fight losing streak with a loss to Barbaloo at Affliction in January. And before that, losing to Lewis Arthur Kane at UFC 89 last October. Mike Kogan, Sokaju, needs to get back in the winner's circle here tonight. Yeah, and you know what? Not to take anything away from Jan, but this is a good place for him to start because Jan, other than being really big and hitting hard, I don't think he's going to be able to hit Sokaju at all. Uh, being that big makes him also an easy target for you know a single or a double leg takedown. And once they hit the canvas, uh, I don't think Jan has much for Sokaju. Jan just staring down as Sokaju is about to step into center ring. Made his mixed martial arts debut in 2006 and went 2-0 and did Sokaju before his first loss at WEC 24 against Glover Teixeira. And he certainly looks pumped to be here, does Sokaju. Six foot even, and Jan's gonna have about 11 inches over him. 205 pounds, that's the biggest weight differential in the entire tournament, Guy Mezga. Well, actually, he's, he's, he's taller than six foot, because I'm 6'1", and he's got me by an inch. So, I know he's taller than that, and he, and he usually fights at 205.